this is question number 13, and it asks us to find each vertical and horizontal asymptote of a function f of x is equal to x squared minus 1 over x cubed minus x squared. So finding horizontal asymptote is a little quicker, so we'll do that first. So horizontal asymptote, we just have to look at the degree of the numerator and the degree of the denominator. If the degree of the denominator is larger, then we know that our horizontal asymptote is y equals 0, and that's the case for this problem. If the degree of the numerator is larger, then we know that we don't have a horizontal asymptote. And if the degree of the numerator and the degree of the denominator are the same, then we look at the ratio of the leading coefficients. So for us, the degree of the denominator, the highest degree, is um, greater than the highest degree of the numerator, so it's just y equals 0. So now we're going to look for vertical and horizontal asymptotes. So I'm actually going to factor the numerator and the denominator out. And then I'll give me x plus 1 minus 1 over x squared times x minus 1. So I'm looking for vertical asymptotes. I need to look at my denominator. However, I can cancel out x minus 1. And if I can cancel it out from the numerator and the denominator, that means it's, it's a whole and it's not a vertical asymptote. So our only vertical asymptote would be where x squared is equal to 0, which is just x is equal to 0. So your answer is choice C, x is equal to 0, y is equal to 0 only.